How's it going guys? Bring your platoon here and welcome back to another great double feature in World of Tanks post-update 6.0 in console edition, if you haven't guessed that already. Um, today I've got two good games for you in the Hellcat, and by the end of it you're going to see this thing 3-marked because I'm addicted to 3-marking tanks and with the current meta it's easy as shit, hence why I'm taking advantage of doing it now. But yeah... When ninety percent of your players on on yeah, when ninety percent of the players on your team are shit, you can absolutely take advantage of their deaths. And anyone that YOLOs your allied team, you can just nuke for their entire HP because they're dumb. And yeah, it's it's fantastic. Anyway, the Hellcat. It's got no armor. It's got a ninety millimeter on it. That's got one sixty five standard pen or one sixty standard pen for its AP rounds, and then two forty three premium APCR pen for its premium rounds. If I didn't say that twice, I... yeah. Clearly I'm not all the way here. Apologies for kind of being absent mentally, but moving on. Uh, high explosive rounds I won't really talk about. Just know if you hit very lightly armored targets with it, you'll do 300 and something on average damage per shot, and that's about it. I don't use them a lot. I only use them against uh, waffles. Uh, in tier 8, maybe a stir waffen trigger in tier 7, and right now I'm outspotting the fuck out of everyone popping out. Uh, although, I'm not the one spotting them, it's actually the medium tank in the middle, slightly in front of me. So, cool, good for him. Very unfortunate I wasn't getting a lot of that spotting. I got a little bit ne near the end, but it's fine, whatever. I'm gonna get a free pen into this guy. No, I'm not because I didn't let the. Uh, the aiming circle aim all the way in. That was my fault. Uh, am I going to get a free pen on this guy? Nope. Way too slow of a shell, but there's a thunderbolt. Or am I going to aim at this guy? Yep. How's it going, dude? Oh, sweet. It bounced right off because spaced armor and great angles, but whatever. It's fine. I get... Oh, cool. Critical hit damage as well. Awesome. All these targets and all of them are are not being hit. Good job, Justin. Well well done. Although, needless to say, if I am uploading this game, you know it's a good one. So, by the end of this, it will be, you know, phenomenal for, for the tiered tank that I'm in. The Hellcat is good for hiding. It's got very terrible turret traverse, as well as uh, terrain resistances and just uh, track traverse as well. Uh, in order to turn this thing around, you need, like, two or three seconds possibly even four, because that's just how bad the traverse is on this thing. You're much better off uh, facing the way you're going to escape in certain situations and then start firing at your opponents, just in case you get detected. You have a uh, better time window to escape. That's just my own experience. Uh, I have a lot better luck doing that than just turning the whole tank around because that's how you die in like three hits. Because this thing's HP pool is not the best. I don't know how that went in. It looks like it just uh, critical hit his tracks, but sure. Um, I'm surprised it got detected there just because I shot through bushes, but it's whatever. I get undetected very quickly because my camo in this thing is phenomenal. But, um, yeah. You play this thing like a light tank when you can, and then when you spot for your team and they actually do something, just don't fire. Oh, already you almost got away. Such a shame. Such a shame. Uh, you may notice that what I'm doing right now is quite risky, aka this Hellcat is now rushing towards me, the 105 version, and he's going to fire on the move because he's a fucking idiot. That thing couldn't hit the broadside of a barn at full speed if it was 50 meters ahead of it. It's it's pretty inaccurate, like KV2 levels of inaccurate when firing on the move, so kudos to that guy for just rushing towards me. Really shows some uh, good IQ points on his part. But, yeah, it, it's a tank. What do you want? It's got no armor. It's got a decent gun on it. It's track traverse sucks. A lot of people say this tank is great. Uh, it's good for hiding. It's good for sniping. But with the track traverse the way it is, oh, I'm going to absolutely outplay the shit out of this other Hellcat up here. Although something happens that I'm quite, quite appalled by. Um, and you'll see it when it happens. You see that I'm loading the HE, which I told you to never do. Uh, that's because I know the Hellcat isn't well armored, and I think it's like 12 millimeters in the front. 
so you have like 38 millimeters to work with of pen. He's going to put a free round into me. Oh no. He's going to try and ram me. I'm going to back up a little bit to negate some of that damage. And then he misses me, I think. Yeah, well done. And then somehow I shoot the ground when the reticle wasn't even that big. Like, cool. But since I have my consumables on, I can reload a little bit faster than he can. And uh, I alphaed the shit out of that guy. And it was great. <sighs> but that's a good old 3,500 damage combined game with only a little bit of spotting and a lot of it being base damage. Very happy with that. And just uh, at least two other players got above 1,000 damage on my team. But Jesus, it's not that hard. I spot with that thing like I would in an E25, except the E25 is better in every way than this thing, and it's just, it's hilarious. Hilariously overpowered, mind you, but still. I, I don't like this tank very much. I don't. And it's not because the HP pool is bad, it's not because it has no armor, I just don't like it because its traverse speed is way too fucking slow. It's like, you're turning left and right, why does it feel like you're driving a T95? Especially for the weight of the tank. Like, what, what's stopping it from turning quickly? It doesn't make sense. At all. There's no weight. There's no armor. There's no... Like, even your view range is kind of shit for the tier. Or is it? I could look that up. I don't want to. I'm going to anyway. Um... Hellcat, USA, hey Hellcat, how's it going? 370 base view range, which isn't bad, and with your concealment being the way that it is, assuming you have what on, on what I have, which is camouflage expertise, muzzled shot, and uh, silent driving, it should be fucking bonkers. Like, I'm a light tank right now, no one can fucking see me, and I'm getting free spots because of it. This is... I think the best game I've ever had in this tank, which isn't saying much, but like, if I fired, I would get detected, no problem. Oh, there's a Dreadnought platoon, look at him. Oh, you guys are so fucking OP as shit. Oh no, what happened? He was far enough away where I could fire, the other guy was way too close. But I don't know, it's got good concealment, it's got great, good view range, I guess, and using your consumables as well as coded optics on this thing, which I do use for an equipment slot. It, it's it's very good for spotting. It's very good for spotting and sniping. I just, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't know what it is. It just, with the teams the way they are, not even that. It's really just the tur- uh, both the turret traverse and the track traverse are very annoying. The the Wolverine. I would imagine the T25-2 is a hell of a lot. Wait, is that a tier 7? It is. Uh, what's the other version of this tank? The Jackson. There's the T67 and the Wolverine together in tier 5, and then there's the Jackson and this thing in tier 6. So I guess the Jackson is going to be the next tank that I 3 mark in the TD line, but like, why is there two separate tanks in each uh, tier for 5 and 6. I don't understand. What was the point of that? You either get uh, really fast forward momentum with no armor and terrible track traverse, or you get some armor and better view range. I think. God damn it, I already closed out of that link. No, I didn't. Okay. So, if the Hellcat has 370 view range. Let's go to the Jackson. What do you have? Also 370 view range. But your Traverse is... Huh. Actually not that much better. That's pretty depressing. Unless it's not the Track Traverse that's terrible. It's the Terrain Resist... No, they look the same too. Weird. Well, the Wolverine moves a lot faster to the left and the right than the T-67, so I imagine the same would be true for the Jackson compared to the Hellcat. As far as uh, Traverse goes. But, like, look at that! Why does it feel like I'm driving a T-95? Like, Jesus Christ. 
I've got off-road driving on. I don't have clutch braking, which wouldn't really make a difference. Ugh. It's just, it really bothers me. If you have no armor, but you have... Is it the engine? I'm solving a fucking mystery here, I'm sorry. 460 horsepower versus 420 on the Jackson. What the fuck? That, that doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. So weird. But, yeah, I'll, I'll stop talking about that now. Don't... Don't mind me. I'm supposed to be doing commentary here, and I'm here bitching about other tanks and comparing them to this tank. So, as soon as I'm detected, I'm like, where the fuck should I go? Who's detecting me? It couldn't be that fucking medium. It's gotta be somebody else. I don't know where he is. I have no idea. He's gotta be... Maybe it was the medium. Because as soon as I hid behind the rock, I was undetected. So I'm like, I gotta get the fuck out of Dodge. I don't really have a lot of support over here. I'm gonna go over where all the fucking mediums are, doing absolutely nothing, might I add. And, uh, oh look, there's full health over here. Cool. I'm gonna hit him once and, like, once again, run away. And, oh, maybe not. While well, I hit him, yep, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna start running now. Probably gonna get hit by a tank. Maybe? No? And what am I gonna do instead of those idiots staying down in the bottom there? I'm going to... Use my momentum to get out of their spotting range. And then I'm going to go down these tracks and then up that hill at like, I don't know, H4? That sounds right. Looks right. I don't know how I'm still, still spotted, but sure. So now I'm going to use these uh, trees and this bush over here to maximize my concealment. And then when I fire, I'm probably, uh, I will probably get detected. But it won't really matter at that point, considering... Oh, free hit into him. Nice. I don't think I'll be able to hit that Absolution's hatch from here, but I actually end up doing it. I'm like, okay, I bounced off with APCR. Shooting the side turret was a bad idea, apparently, because that's not OP at all with 243 pens still bouncing off the side turret. That's fine. It's fine. And once again, that, that was a ricochet or a bounce, one of the two. Fantastic. Like, <sighs> well done, mediums. CS44, you don't have any gun depression, and yet you're at the bottom of the hill. This is obviously going to be a loss for this side, so I'm going to run instead of getting a little bit more damage and then inevitably dying. And this actually saves the game for us. But, like, Jesus Christ. Like, look at him! How bad can you be? I just don't get it. I think I get hit, like, once or twice here. Maybe once? No? Okay. I'll take it. And then I use the time that he's using to advance towards me. Bam! Get a free shot into him, now he's a one hit. That was huge. Loved that opportunity, took it, and it paid off. I got hit once though. No. Must have been beforehand. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not paying very close attention to my own replay. I do apologize, not very, pro not very professional of me, but I really, I guess I'm just not in the mood for it today. Moving on! Absolution dies. Now all they have is five mediums left, which is kind of bad in a sense, because that means they're very mobile, they can spot for themselves. No bueno on my part. So now I'm just waiting for mistakes or the rest of my team to die, because one medium yolo down the eight, the nine line, thinking that was a good idea. <sighs> so stupid. So very stupid. And I'm going to decide to go... I'm going to decide to go up to my spot again, or am I? Down the tracks we go. I know there's a, there's a chance that I could get caught off guard here and get spotted, but then I realize they're all over there and hidden. So I'm going to go over here and use some of my remaining HP to get some damage off. Because if I don't use my HP to get damage into these guys, there's a very good chance that I could just get yellowed at the very end while I'm reloading. And we could lose the game. So I'm not really going to give a shit about my HP pool right now. I put a free shot into this guy, which thankfully that went in. Um, don't know how. Should have been an all to ricochet at that point, but whatever. And he's going to probably hit me. Yep, very scary. And then I just critical hit him because awesome. All right, that's fine. I'm still locked onto him. He's going to come rushing to me. Or what am I doing? Okay, he's not going to expect me to rush towards him. But he, he puts another one into me. 
Of course he does. And now we've got uh, two to three going on. I'm potentially a one hit to anything with a 90 millimeter on it. And this guy wants to pop up. Is that a, a panther? So we would have to two hit me unless he's shooting high explosive, which I don't think he would be. And then this guy has to hit me probably three times because his gun is very low caliber, very low alpha. And I think this is where I did my oopsie. Like, okay, there we go. And then look at this miss. Wait for it. Wait for it. Not him. Watch me. How does that miss? Because my reticle was directly on him. But because of this thing's terrible dispersion on the move. I forgot to mention that, by the way. It just... It's bonkers. You move the turret or the... Oh, I got a scout medal. Cool beans. You move the turret a little bit. You move... I guess it's really... If you move the chassis, that's where all your dispersion goes. To shit. But yeah... There's the third mark on the tank. This wasn't hard to do, just very annoying because of the tank's terrible traverse speed. I would imagine the Jackson will be a lot better, just because it's got a little bit more armor. Not much, mind you, but there's the equipment that I used to three mark the tank. Advanced concealment for the win, folks. And then here's all the skills that I used to three mark the tank for my commander. So, hope you guys enjoyed the game. Or, sorry, the double feature games. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to hit like, comment, or subscribe. And when you do subscribe, if, if you subscribe, hit the bell to get notifications so you can get notified every time I upload something. Would appreciate it. Thank you, and I'll catch you next time.